Hey y'all, this is the new Rampage Trailview soft top for the new Ford Broncos. Um, I have it here installed on my 2023 Ford Bronco Everglades. Um, overall, I really like it. It um, is a lot different than the factory soft top. Mine came factory with the uh, with the molding color hard top. Um, and I've been looking online around for a good looking soft top that I could easily, you know, interchange once it becomes winter time and whatnot. Um, what I've decided to go with here is this new Rampage style uh, trail view soft top because of the fast back look on the back where it comes, it really tightly follows the uh, roll bar. Um, it is made out of, you know, your, I think it's sailcloth, I think is what they call it. Um, windows are plastic, you know, and, you know, each window does come out fairly, fairly simply. You just have to, um, over here, just peel back with Velcro, unzip, and, uh, remove the Velcro up top. And then we start pulling out the, uh, um, the clips, I think is the best way to call it. The clips, they come out here. Um, it has a nice tinted glass on it. Uh, well, plastic, not really glass. Harder to see inside of it. Um, the inside is, you know, just your typical, you know, sailcloth. Um, only the front part folds back. Um, and what's really neat about it is you get all this, let me step through the back here. What is really interesting about the Rampage soft top is you get this storage that's up above your head. So you put your registration, you know, pins, you know, I think your phone or walkie talkie could fit in there. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's overall, I love it. Um... As far as install, it says it was going to take about, you know, supposed to take about, they said about an hour to an hour and a half um, to install. For me, it took me about three hours because, let me see if I can get this off and I can show how you remove the top part is you just pull down on this side and you pull down up here. Make sure they're both undone. And there's gonna be a bar right here. And you just pull up. And then it just folds back very nicely. And then you have to put this little clip up here for, you know, for it to safely lock, you know, safely. So the part that took me a while was you do need to have a RivNut gun to install won't focus to install this allen bolt and this this allen bolt here so what was annoying about it i guess there's just the different the different quality for each bronco going down the line mine i had to drill out this hole and this hole only on the driver's side oddly enough I had to undo and drill out for the rivnut to fit on the other side on the on the uh, passenger side, it did not require any drilling. It fit in perfectly fine. But unfortunately on this side, I had to drill and make the hole out a little bit bigger. So uh, that was the only stumbling block I had. And yeah, so one other really cool part about this top is that you can fit, I'll have to make a separate video about this, um, but you can fit all the panels for the top in the back you can fit them up in the top of the top it comes with a little storage bag and it velcros and it will fit inside so that to me makes it cool um so and here it is with the top open 
I'm going to be experimenting here eventually. Um, I'm going to be experimenting here of how, because right now only this part's opens and then all the windows come out, which makes for a nice tonneau cover, I guess, for a movie head or a bimini top. But I'm going to be trying to experiment and see if I can find in like a twist nuts or something to where I can unbolt these two pieces. I can unbolt this and this on both sides. And if I can do that, the rest of it's held on just by Velcro. So then all the top will be able to come off. I can just take it off whenever I need to. So, but overall, I love it. The, uh, the noise level inside, I've been trying to adjust it and, you know, make sure all of it's tight. It is obviously louder than the factory hard top. And I'd even say it's louder than the factory soft top. Um, obviously I've never owned a soft top Bronco. Um, but you know, it gets some flapping in the wind right over the passenger side. And I think that's just, I've got to stretch out the sailcloth, make it fit a little bit better. Um, but other than that, I mean, the, the noise level inside is obviously louder in factory. Um, I had a Jeep Gladiator before this and it was a hard top. And I would say that the noise level inside here is very equivalent to the factory noise level of that Jeep Gladiator I had with the hard top. Um, overall, I would give its construction out of it, I'd say probably a strong 8 out of 10. Um, there are some little things that do... Um, there are some little things here that do annoy me, such as... I'm still not sure about... Such as... It's really hard to get... It is really hard to get this Velcro... Um, not Velcro. To get this zipper to zip all the way up. And I think that's just going to come with time with this stretching out. Um, and once I get those zipped, there's no other issues, really. And then the other little grievance I've got, which I don't even know if you're going to be able to tell... Um, is, let's see, yeah, you can see it, kind of see it. The, the metal track hits the top of this door. I've adjusted it enough to where it doesn't do it that much, but it still does sometimes. So, but then if you're inside, this is how much the thing opens. Um, overall, it's very, very nice. I am a very big fan of it. I've um, been looking for a soft top for such a long time, and I was just about to bite the bullet on the best top, but then from seeing of just how annoying it is to take the thing on and off and switch back and forth between the hard top and soft top, because I do plan, I'm, I'm going to keep my hard top for the winter uh, once it starts getting cold. So I do plan on switching back and forth. Um, but... Overall, I really like it. It is a very, very well-constructed uh, top, especially for the price point. I got it on the uh, Memorial Day sale here, and I got it for, I think it was just a hair above 800 bucks. But for a, for a full top, especially for something right now as hot as an item as the Ford Bronco is, that's very well. Because just about everything they make for a Jeep they're starting to make out now for the Bronco. It's just they're getting the Bronco tax of where everything under the moon obviously costs more because it's new. But overall, I really like it. And uh, yeah, I, it, it, it looks nice. And uh, the only thing, I, I guess, in terms of looks is it makes the car look smaller, which that's going to be counteracted when it, once I lift the bronco so you know who knows but but yeah that's my thoughts on the new rampage top if you like it um give it a give it a thumbs up and uh, i do plan on making more bronco content i'm going to be making a full review of my uh um for bronco everglades once i can catch up with some more time um to kind of show off the features of it um, and, uh, if you like the content of, you know, new Bronco parts, uh, please sure to subscribe and, uh, I'll be posting more regularly once the parts start to come in. 
as well as once I start uh, taking on, on some more adventures here. Like uh, I'm, I live fairly close to the Windrock Park in Tennessee, so I do plan on taking it to Windrock. Um, I do plan on reviewing some more of the parts I have on there, such as like the the fishing rod holders up top, which there's not much really to review. The new archetype uh, racing or archetype design, sorry, archetype design uh, Magnum steps, um, and then obviously go over all the Everglades awesome stuff. So if you, if you like it, please like and subscribe, and then uh, catch you on the next video.